Alright guys, welcome to another video. We just did a nine hole course vlog and now I've realized that I'm still yet to do the Kirkland Signature version 2.0, that one, on course. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play four holes. We're going to do two par threes and two par fours and play them all a little bit differently. The first par three is about 138 meters to the pin. We're going to be dead into the wind and it's going to really actually give a good test as to see how the Kirkland flies through the wind. So let's get onto that and see if we can stick one close. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at. You know what, let's hit a couple. We'll get two, let's hit a couple just to give us the best sense of feel and consistency for the ball. Like I said, we've got about 138 to that pin straight into the wind. I'm just gonna go eight iron. Just a nice smooth eight. Should get there just fine. That is right on it. Fading a little. Wow. Okay, that's way short. That's interesting. Like dropped out of the sky. Let's go one more. both of those really well and they both dropped out of the sky let me get a different ball in a similar kind of market see if i have a q star tour here let me just try the q star tour from the pen so maybe they're falling out of the air we'll try it again on the next hole all right so straight off the bat there i actually hit those two kirklands really really well um and then they just dropped out of the sky which i know it's a heavy wind but i'm also hitting an eight iron downhill from 138 meters i tried the q star tour and i'm four foot from the pin so I had really, really high hopes for this, so I'm not gonna base everything just on those two shots, right? But I will do it again on the next hole. I might go two balls each just to compare and see whether I come short or whether I actually make the distance with all four balls. But I'll show you in a second that this could potentially be quite harmful for your game if you're playing in windy conditions where they do drop out of the sky because although they feel amazing, if you're gonna be 10 meters short all the time, that's not a good thing. So yeah, let's take a look at this. So just walking up to the balls now, there's the two Kirklands. I hit them both really well, but then up there is a Q-Star Tour. So that's birdie territory. These are not. These are let's try and save par. But either way, it's the end score that matters. So I'll tell you what, let's try both of those balls, those Kirklands and try and get up and down and see what the end score result is. Okay, so when it comes down to it, if we're looking at the scorecard, they're both the same. Um, now granted, the Q-Star Tour gave me an opportunity to actually make birdie, whereas 
really the Kirklands didn't, even though I nearly did both times. Um, but the Kirkland short game spin, you would have seen it there, is really, really incredible. And these greens are notorious for not spinning much. So it's what draws me to them, but I just hope the distances are gonna be off. Right, so we're dead into this wind. We're about 160. I don't know if it's dropped off or not. We're about 160, but you know, I'm gonna go a seven. I'm gonna go a seven iron just because I know it might be short, but I wanna see the distance difference. If I hit a six and they go over the back, it, it's kind of harder to tell. So we'll go a seven. We may not make the green, but what have I got here? I got Kirkland first and then I'll go Q star. So we may not make the green, but we might. That wasn't a good strike. For the strike that it was, it actually did pretty well. So, if you start tour. Yeah, well, that one made the green. That was a better strike. It was a really good shot too. Again, birdie territory. Let's go to Kirkland. That wind just picked up. I want to give it the best chance of being as accurate as possible. So hitting into a gusty wind is, is not really accurate representation. That's on the green again. So the two Kirklands are short, the two Q Star Tours are on the green. So I have one more Kirkland. I'm really trying to give it as much of a go as possible. One more go. Can't hit it better than that. It's fading though. Too much. I think that might have been short too, even though I hit that really well, but it just faded. But kind of hard to argue right now. So the first Kirkland, I'll say I didn't actually hit it. 100% well. I probably hit it about 90%. The two Q stars I hit pretty well. The first Q star was probably about 95. The second one I hit even better. Um, but then the third Kirkland I did hit well. And same with the fourth. And I think all three of them, well, the fourth one went a little, a little further, may have been on the fringe, but none of them made the green. So into the wind, I'm saying that these balls don't go as far, and I have proof, at least for me. So you'll see when we get up there, the Q-Star Tours again have put me with two great birdie opportunities, whereas the Kirklands have put me in a spot where I need to get up and down again. So here are the two Kirklands, one there, one there, and there's the two Q-Star Tours, both great birdie opportunities. The third Kirkland is over there, Still short right side of the bunker, but let's try and get one of these up and down. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. Well, that's a birdie. Oh. <laughs> short game control on these balls is fantastic. I will give it that. So now I need to put that for birdie. Chance it had. 
bad. We took the best of both. Can't take it back now. As much as I've just ragged on it, on the scoreboard, it's actually in front. Ironic, huh? Okay, so now we're down breeze. Gonna go five iron, just straight off the deck with both. Got some water. Hot. Right, so five iron. Straight off the deck with both. Go Q star first. See off the distances. Sit really well and dead straight, Kirkland. Slip, but still got it good. I think it might have hit the tree that one. Houston. I'm gonna go one more with the Kirkland because I really didn't do any of them justice. I slipped on the first one, pulled the second one. Let's see if we can get one down the middle. That. That was the best strike of the lot. So I, I struck that better than any other, other ones. Okay, so walking up guys, this is the first ball that we've come to, which is a Kirkland. I think that was the one that hit the tree. Then we have down there, a long way, there's another ball. And then one of the Q stars is over there. So we have a couple more balls to find actually. We, uh, we hit three Kirklands, two Q stars. I know I hooked one left well into the trees, so I'm not really gonna bother counting that one. Um, I'll go over here and make sure this is a Q star, which, well, I definitely know. So I can see another one there as well. So let's uh, let's see, pick this one up because this is definitely a Q star. This one here. Yep, just on the right Q star. There you go. Q star tour. We actually have two balls here, so this will probably give us the best gauge of which one is furthest because I hit these two, whichever they are, really well, but the Kirkland was the best. So that's another Q-Star. So the Kirkland that I hit, which was the very last shot, is actually the furthest ball. And we're going to play four of them from here now. I haven't found the other one that I hooked into the bushes, but we'll take a look for those later. Let's play four from here and see how we go. Start with the Kirkland because it was the Kirkland's ball. We have about 60 metres to the pin. And uh, see how we go. so hard to beat. They really are. The Kirklands are so good with the short game. So this is a Q-Star. It's actually pretty good too. A little bit left, but pretty good. Kirkland. touch heavy, it's a touch short, operator error, 
and Q star. I'd say in terms of spin, they really are about the same um, on, on how much spin they get, but in terms of feel on the short game, I, I would say I prefer the Kirkland. I feel like the Kirkland has just a touch softer cover and it probably sticks on the wedges a little more. All right, so walking up to the green, the Kirkland has one right in tight and the Q-Star's just outside of that, but the Q-Star's here on the left and then there on the right. Distance-wise, the Q-Star's are both the same. The Kirkland has a bit of a gap there, but I got that one heavy, so you can't really count that. I mean, I don't know if you can count that or not. That was a bad putt with the Kirkland. It was in there tight. There's nothing more you can ask for. I just had two good putts with the Q Star. So, I guess that ties it up. All right, guys, so this may be the biggest test. And what I mean by that is I'm going to go three iron and I'm looking for accuracy and workability because I need to draw this. Go to the Q Star first. I need to draw this against the wind. The wind is coming this way. I need to go that way. So, it's not the easiest shot but I need to be able to do it. Otherwise, the free iron will go into the water on the right. So, let's check it out. That's in the water. First Q stars in the water. Kirk one. really crushed that and that did draw I just hope it didn't go too far you start oh. that might be up but that's not good Stayed straight. Told you they get angry, these birds. Two Kirklands are actually in, and I mean, I did hit them better. All right, so in terms of workability, the Kirklands there have proved um, that they're workable. I mean, I was able to draw both of them. They're both in play. I hit the first Q-Star in the water. The second Q-Star, I think, is up on the bank. Um, so that should be safe. But 
It's going against the wind and I'm able to draw the Kirkland, which is a massive tick to the Kirkland. With the Q-Star, I think it was probably more my swing, leaving that club face open. Um, but nevertheless, it was kind of 2-1 or maybe even 2-0 to the Kirkland there. So maybe I was too hard on it at the start with that distances, but it did, it did do that. I can't deny that it didn't drop out of the sky because it did on two holes into the wind. Um, this one's across the wind, the last one was downwind, so what I'm wondering is if as good as the balls are with the, the spin and stuff like that around the green, I'm wondering if they get a little floaty um, because downwind if it launches well and it kind of floats, it will carry further if it's a lighter ball, whereas into the wind it will drop out of the sky. And I think that's kind of what it was doing, but I can't argue with what's going on right now either so thumbs up there all right so here are both of the Kirklands nearly drove the green with a three iron that is a good shot we'll hit them from the from the closest one so just kick this one over there Q star and I'll get another Q star let's see who gets nearest to pin I think I just hit it to a couple of feet again. That was the Kirkland, this is the Keystar. Oh, straight under it. Kirkland. Bunker. Keystar, this is a hard shot with no, with like too much rough. That was a flyer. Alright, okay, so before we do the bunker test, let's just see if we can pop this one in for birdie. out of the bunker, see which one gets more action and which one can stop easier. but that would be different probably any other time. I wouldn't say there was too much difference there at all. Um, but there is one difference, you know. There is one major difference with the two balls and that is price. So for the price of two dozen Kirklands is one dozen box of the Q-Star Tours, right? And for the most part, other than maybe into the wind, the Kirklands are fantastic. Around the greens, they feel great. Off the tee, it feels great. Out of the bunkers, it feels great. It performs almost identical to the Q-Star Tour, in my opinion. But into the wind, you're gonna need to take an extra club um, um, because the Q-Star Tours did outperform it in terms of distance into the wind. The ball went through the wind a lot better. But downwind, the Kirkland one. Around the greens, they're both about the same. 
Okay, so I have one more test before we sign off on the before we sign off on the video. I was going to make the last hole the last hole, but it's going to drive around. We're hitting it into the wind, and uh, this will tell hitting it into the wind. This will tell whether we lose distance or not. I'll go to the Q star first. That did not draw the Kirkland. That's not going to give us any indication. That just went right. Kirkland. Well, that's going to run a long way. It's not really going to help us either. Let's uh, hope these last two are good. Come on, David. Two good swings. That's a great swing. Alright, that's way down there, so let's see if we can do it again. Great swings. I've nailed both of those. It will be interesting to see if there's any distance uh, difference in distance. Um, yeah, I hit those last two really, really well. Thank the Lord because the first two, they were crap. All right, guys. So we're walking up to the first ball here. Right cutter rough. Probably not too bad considering how bad the strike was. Then the actual two balls, which were any good, and I struck these both really well. Uh, we got the Kirkland over here, but the Q Star is down there, so probably down there. All right, let's go over to Kirkland. Let's go over to Kirkland and we'll see. So here's the Kirkland there, and the Q Star is actually down over there, so it's for good 15 meters in front, which is probably relative to the same distance that I saw off the irons, once you consider irons to drivers and whatnot, uh, which is really interesting. So anyway, let's uh, let's go back to the green last hole. I'm going to sign off, but I do see a distance difference into the win. Um, but in terms of the rest of the play, it's great. But uh, let's sign off on the video now. All right, guys, so that's going to be it from me today with the Kirkland review. I hope you loved it. Smash the like button comment subscribe hit the bell notifications all of that sort of stuff and uh happy golfing guys i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time cheers